Have you ever wondered what your spine would look like if you didn't take care of it for over seven years? Or how your job and sleeping on your stomach would affect your bones? What if I told you I had concrete x-ray vision that would show you how bad it could be? Please watch this important video so you can see the evidence for yourself. Uh, my name is Kwesi, uh, my age, I'm 38. Um, I'm a forklift driver. Gotcha. And so why are you here, sir? Low back pain, numbness, tingling in my fingers, uh, left and right side, um, going down the leg, uh, low butt cheek. Over the last eight years, like I said, I've learned to change a couple of things on how to deal with the pain. But I fell off somewhere. He had this pain from moving in his chest that ended up being numbness and tingling down his arm to his left sciatica pain. And he goes, the interesting thing, yesterday it switched to the right side. Yeah. And his whole right arm was numb. And when I was testing him in there, his right arm was numb and then it went to shift to the left, just yes. testing him. So uh, I guarantee there's some kind of herniated disc in his neck somewhere in there. And I just took x-rays of him and you guys will see, you'll be lucky enough to see how the spine deteriorates after this much time when not taken care of. And he's probably got 20 or 30 years of arthritis in there after only eight years. And so you guys will get to see all that kind of stuff and see how he's changed. The COVID, I told him the reason why that happened because he was stuck in the garage with the sun for 10 days. For 10 days. Yeah. And I told him not moving around, laying around on a couch, on a bed. He just hurt himself and he never recovered and he he's, just exacerbated all the things going inside of him. The other thing we got going on is for the last seven months, he's had this brain fog kind of, uh, again, since COVID. Yes. Um, and uh, he hasn't been able to sleep very well. No. Sleep's been crappy. One of the worst things I have in, in my office is uh, people who are forklift drivers. Why? Because they have to drive backwards. Yeah. When you drive backwards, what do you do? Turn your neck all day long. Oh, by the way, how many kids do you have since I saw you last? Oh, I have two kids. Two kids? My son is uh, seven and my daughter is five. Yeah. But I, but I, that's the last time I saw him. How much pain in your back, sir? That's seven. Seven out of ten where? On the left side? On my left side, yeah. Go stand up, please. Back like this, please. More like a five. A five? Go ahead and stand up. Look at the floor with your neck. Any problem? No? No. Look at the ceiling, please. Any problem? No. Okay, when he did this, in the, he did that exact same thing in our exam. His, went, his numbness went from his right arm to his left arm, like that. Yeah. That was crazy. Okay, so um, step forward a little bit, please. Left arm above the head. How much numbness in your hand there? Yeah, it's tingling in my left right finger. On a finger, on a scale of one to ten, how, about, how much tingling? Like seven. Uh, switch arms, please. No, no tingling. tingling. No tingling now. No. Gotcha. And last one, step back in the door one more time and squat. He has a problem with his right hip too, we don't talk about. This is something we had years ago. How much pain in the right hip? I said a nine. A nine? Yeah. And see how bad ba balance he has? Look at this. I mean, look at the balance. He has terrible balance. And this guy's in shape. And so it's not like he doesn't he doesn't take his uh, body seriously. So to have that unbalanced, we're gonna fix all that right now. Ready to go, sir? Yes. His arthritis is all at the base of his neck. Um, I think it's C5, but I'll have to look closer. I'm gonna touch his neck right now. He'll he'll tell you it's pretty sensitive down here, right? Yeah. Yep, and that's yeah. where his arthritis is. His uh, numbness goes down his C6 distribution, which is his pinky fingers right through here. And so uh, that's the nerve that's being impacted, so it's pretty easy for us to tell. It's right where the arthritis is. So I'm gonna just right through that right now. Probably where his herniated disc is too. You guys, you guys are gonna ask, can I fix herniated disc? Hell no. What I can do is make the body better able to deal with it. Right there, that's really tight. Whew. Okay, we have this head of yours. Good. Okay? Yeah. Painful at all? No. And right there. Not up here. Right there. Whew. Can we have this? Drop your head, drop your head, drop your head, and then drop down through the tape like that. Drop down. Good, there we go. Remember me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Upsy daisy, Quasi. So remember not to twist and turn or you will undo my work. How are you doing, Quasi? I feel taller. I told you earlier, I said that to him. Because he goes, I keep getting shorter. He goes, I'm 5'9". I go, not in my scale. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my... um. 
upper body is uh, elevated. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And all I did was adjust you. Uh, anything else you feel? Um, I feel like my chest is out. Interesting. Okay. Maybe I can take a deeper breath too. I feel like I feel clear. Clear. Um, mm. He has other things, a chest problem, I forget chest pain in the past. Okay, walkie walkie, recalibration time. I feel level-headed. Um, I feel like my, my arms feel better. Looser, huh? the back, yeah. Good, 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 good. Right, right on. Let's uh, touch toes. That was a seven minute ago, dude. Yeah. What's it now? Like a five. Five, good, stand up. Back like this. More flexibility, huh? Yeah, no pain there. No pain? Good. Uh, I look down the floor. Look up the ceiling. This is going to blow your mind, this one. How much easier that is? Yeah, it's loose. Looser, right? Yeah. Left arm above the head, please. That's the door. That was numb before. Slight numbness. How much? That was a seven in numbness a minute ago, was it? No, it's a two. Two? I'm going and coming. Other arm? Nothing. Nothing. And last one, the hip one, we didn't even talk about really in our exam, but let's check it out. Squat. And you're balancing so much better. I can't wait to see this. That was a nine a minute ago. Yeah. It's, it's about a five. Look at this. Huh? Hey. <laughs> Feels so much better. Right? Yeah. See, your balance is better too? My balance is better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, could I put one finger push them over a minute ago? Um, well, the things I've changed in the past, um, what, I've taught, what I've been taught from you, um, ride shoes, no wallet in the back pocket sitting down. Um, I drive my car with the seat straight. I don't slouch. Um, I don't sleep on the couch anymore. <laughs> I forgot about that. I remember you just said that. That's um, right. Going back and looking at what I did for the last two years, I think I found where my problem started. What? In Vegas, and I slept on a pillow, and about for seven months I had a stiff neck. Mm. And I didn't do nothing about it. It just I just waited for it to work up, up, but yeah. it never did. And it took it took quite a while. And so you know what happened? It didn't get fixed, guys. You know what happened? He adapted. His body changed to meet the demands of his neck. Two things. Which threw his whole body off. So that, and um, I remember I was gonna reach for something to the right, and I felt like I pulled something in between my back, but I kind of wiggled it out, and never really got it checked out. That's and probably not as big as the neck thing. Yeah. But it is but, a problem. Um, you know, it, it went away after a while, um, but um, I need to take care more of myself than everybody else. As I always say, you know, it's hard to be a good giver if you can't take care of yourself. The provider needs to eat. Yeah. He's made more strides this time, I think, than all the year we were together before. And so remember, this is seven years later, and I saw him for a whole year before, and I've only seen him for six times this time. Yeah. The reason I came, like you said, um, I felt a lot of pain. And, you know, what you had taught me in the past, you know, I think I have forgotten where, what you had taught me to do, you know, with the extra load I have on me. Um, I kind of lose myself in myself, if you understand what I'm saying, dealing with other people. Um, he works hard. <laughs> Not just at work, he works hard at home. He just, he's uh, purchased a new home, he's got an extended family, and everything is escalated to a new level. And, um, you know, the extra added weight, you know, I didn't realize that, you know, it was really taking a toll on me. And um, that's why we're here today, to help me get through that. Exactly. But the thing is interesting is that you thought it was a physical toll. Yeah. And it is a physical toll to a certain extent because uh, we did take a look at his x-rays. We have the um, ability to look at his seven-year-old x-rays because I took them back then and his current ones and they distressed him a lot. Tell us about those x-rays. This is the physical problem. Uh, Yesterday I was a little, a lot, like I said, I was very distraught yesterday. A little, um, a little bit mad at myself in the sense of, like I said, you know, not taking care of myself. He's upset that his x-rays are so markedly different. He aged his neck 30 years plus in only seven years. And he feels bad about it, but I mean, you don't know. 
You know, you don't know. And so he was a little distraught, as he said a minute uh, yesterday, because he just learned how bad it was. Here's his best x-ray, four millimeter right imbalance and left TMJ. Here we have a nine millimeter short right leg, 11 degree scoliosis, massive constipation seven years later. Here we have increased neck reversal, forward head carriage, arthritis, ouch increased arthritis and constipation here and here is 30 years of evidence of degeneration in just seven years stop for this science moment we're talking about arthritis today arthritis is the abnormal wearing of joints that cause distortion of the disc space and the bones that can't be changed so let me show you what arthritis looks like here's a good spine and here's the worst and you can see the different phases that people pass through. So we can tell how bad somebody is by following where they are on this continuum. The analogy I like to use is tires on a car. If your car is misaligned, what will happen to those tires? Will they start balding on the inside or the outside? So what can you do on a car? You can replace the tires, but on the human body you can't, and that's arthritis. So review Quasi's x-rays. Take a look again. Seven years ago, tiny bit of wear. Now, big old huge hooks. That shows you how much he's progressed, at least 30 years of degeneration. I hope this educational moment was helpful. I might tell him it's from sleeping on his stomach and it's from his work of being a forklift driver, turning his head, always looking under the lift, always looking to put stuff in and out. So it's created this accelerated problem. And that didn't feel good yesterday, knowing that. No, yes, it didn't feel good at all. And then the... Uh the emotional part about it too is just that, you know, I had a lot of uh, built up stuff on my chest that, you know, haven't been, been dealt with. Because he's at a crossroads in his life. He's, he's stepped up and um, found that he is the, <laughs> he is the, um, the father of a bunch of crap. <laughs> that's true <laughs> <laughs> kind of put it easily right yeah and so uh but in this journey that he's taking right now and this is only three weeks in this journey he talked to his father and mended some fences there and he's talked to his wife and i think mended some fences there even though he we would probably say the opposite right now but i think this mending fences because the fact that we're going through this process is the is going to be the right thing to do yeah yeah, and so Quasi needs some time to get a hold of all this crap because he has a lot on his plate. So like I said, I told you, my head felt light and like I said, I felt like, you know, like I said, um, all the emotional stuff was coming out, you know. A lot of things happened in the past that, you know, that I never really dealt with and just, you know, put to the side, you know, and um, like I said, I, I really broke down for at least an hour because I live, you know, 59 miles away from here. And... When I did stop, you know, um, and I did get out of the car, which I did my 10 minute walk, you know, I felt a lot better. Cause I felt like I released something that, you know, that was holding me. I know I still have a lot more in me, but at that time, I felt like it was a time for that, whatever to come out. Why this time? Why this emotion releasing this time? I'm curious because we spent a whole time. I mean, we had a great conversation. We had great, great times together at the other time, but never we got to this point. Why this time? I think at that time, you know, I was more scared of showing weakness. And, um, you know, I was always thought to be, you know, a strong young man. Interesting. But we're getting this out and he's feeling better than he's felt in a long time. And so it's pouring out of him now. <laughs> it's pouring out of him. So I'm not messing my hands unless I sleep on my stomach. <laughs> it was How much did I ye yell at yesterday? Like <laughs> I was like, oh, he got Stop saving your fucking stomach. <laughs> I had to yell at him because I told him the week before and he goes, I found myself in my stomach. And what did yeah. you say when you found yourself in your stomach? I said, I had to readjust myself. Because why? Because my hand didn't <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Driving, remember you used to drive and you used to go numb? Yeah, driving my hands up, not holding my hands down. Um, I repositioned myself. And it all helps, right? Yeah. Gotcha. How about the rib pain? You had some rib pain? Yeah, I had some rib pains on, like I said, on the left side. Uh -huh. um, uh, it's not there anymore. Gotcha. Um, and how about the low back pain? Two times a week? Yeah, it used to be two or ten, two times in a week. And um, how's that been? I haven't had no, no lower back pain, like I said, for the last week or so. Gotcha. Chest pain. He came with his chest pain he had seven years ago, too. Yeah. How's that been? Uh, no chest pain. I think that's even better now than it was yeah. seven years ago. Yes. Yeah. And then brain fog. Um, since I had been sick uh, last year, August, um, 
I, I think the first adjustment, um, like I told you when I was going home, I felt a lot more focused. Good, 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 good. Um, Has that maintained the last couple of weeks too? Yeah, it did. I guess gotcha. So. And then sleep, how's your sleep been? Um, I've been adjusting to not sleeping on my stomach, but um, the short spans of sleep that I get, I feel rested. Good. Uh, lastly, which we don't have on his chart, which we've been going over for the last couple of weeks, and this is again something that happened seven years ago, your right hip, hip pain. Yes. Hip pain. tension, I guess, yeah. or we want to call it. How's that been progressing? Um, Sometimes I used to do a lot of squats then, you know, it used to bother me, but I just used to uh, cheat by spreading my legs mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um, correcting the problem with the adjustment. Like I said, I don't have the pain anymore. Good, 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 good. He's a, he's a ton better. And again, I'm going to tell you this, my, my um, observation of this process versus again, seven years ago, is again, we just got down to the core emotional component of the pain. And there's three phases to health we always talk about in chiropractic. There's the physical, which I'm a specialist in. There's the mental, which is just as important as the physical. And then there's the chemical, which you put in your body. Okay, we're not talking about chemical, we're not talking about nutrition. But again, I think we had to get and deal with some of the emotional part of it because it's also part of the health um, package that we need to help with them. Anything else you want to share, sir? No, like I said, I just appreciate your help, and like I said, you know. It's, been a, yeah. it's always a wonderful experience with you, Quasi. I really appreciate it. Uh, and you want to say hi to your friends that are going to watch this video? Yeah. I can see, um, like, first of all, babe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my kids just want to say hi to them, and like I said, everybody else, you know. I know. Um, this guy has really helped me over the years, and like I said, um, I've told a lot of people about you, and I really think they should take that step of getting treatment. I appreciate also. it. Yeah, he, uh, again, we've always liked each other. We've It's never been a problem. He just lives 59 miles away. <laughs> it's not. Yes, <laughs> it's a it's long not. ways, right? So uh, I appreciate having him back. I love this guy, and I want to. I love helping him. So let's get him treated and let you guys watch what's going on. Okay, uh, he had some hip problems. I've been trying to adjust his, um, his neck to help relieve his hips, but we ended up doing uh, hip distraction to try to release the hips up here. This is a pretty simple adjustment. I don't do it very often, but good. We'll do this side. It seemed to be the ticket for him. I think he has some scar tissue in here. Good, perfect. Okay, we're gonna adjust his back too. Hands on the floor, please. Hands on the floor. He won't tell you and he won't show you any emotion, but he loves this adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> this is one tough cookie, man. I know this these adjustments hurt a little bit on him. And he always gets up and goes, Yeah, that hurt a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but he won't make any peeps, so no, don't look for any kind of uh, big reaction from him, but he, it, it does hurt him, it does hurt him. What I'm doing is I'm working right here about L1, L2. There's definitely some tension, you can feel it right there. He doesn't like this one at all. And the reason I'm doing this is because we've been dealing with this hip issue for seven years, like I said. So I had never really worked on his back, so I'm trying to loosen up the joints down here to give him better range of motion. Go ahead and breathe in, Quasi. And breathe out. Okay, let's do it again. He's holding on to this, breathe in, and out. Out, open your mouth. Good, nice. He hated that, by the way. <laughs> really hated it. <laughs> but it went pretty good, actually. One more up here, and out. Good, there we go. I have been really, literally, just adjusting right through all that arthritis that is on the x-rays. Um, I'm trying to break up all those adhesions. I think we've done a pretty good job with it, but I'm really just trying to create the better curve in there because if you look at his curve now compared to seven years ago, he is way more forward, way more reversal, way more arthritis. So I'm really just forcing good posture. And as he said yesterday, he goes, I do feel taller after the adjustment. <laughs> I did. Because as you create the better curve, it takes pressure off the atlas which ultimately takes pressure off the brain, which ultimately lets his body have better balance. So that's what we're doing. It's all biomechanical influence here. Good, we're right there on the arthritis, right through it. And all we do is we push it forward to create better curve. Okay. Good. 
And again, this side, I'm just going again right through that curve. You can feel it all through here. That's the spot right there. That's where all his problems are. Not up here as much, right there. So I'm going to go right through that spot. Bring that up. Good, nice. Now the problem with um, his spine is, um, I call it the Lego effect. This is a term I came up with because the way his body is um, degenerating, the arthritis, the arthritis that's building, building up in his neck, they are kind of like Legos. They snap together now. They're no longer smooth, they're jagged. And those jagged corners fit together with other bones. So it's easier, even more easy to go backwards in time because the bones want to snap back together. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like Legos. Okay, muscle memory is very difficult, but Lego effects even harder. So that's why I really, really want to give his neck as much mobility right through that arthritis as I can. Say goodbye, Quasi. All right, I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>